Uh, hello, so this is an important video. I think I've done something similar in the past uh, It's regarding the bolt orientation. So if you see these four columns uh, I need to the guy in the shop wants these to fabricate So they don't know how long the roof is so what he's going to do is he's going to make all the parts and leave the top plate off and Make this longer and then cut it on site after they open the roof so right now when i output the material list if we have a look at this bolt is a two inch bolt and if we check the bottom this is a two and a quarter inch bolt but if you can see the head of the bolt is on the bottom here so this bolt is going to be associated with this beam here and up here this bolt is going to be associated with this column now, if I output the list, we can see it's going to do the column. Uh, these bolts here are going to be associated with this beam. So they'll be on this drawn with this material list. So the problem we're going to have is if I output the list and send it, he's going to have these eight bolts here, two at each column, and he's going to have the column. And then when he goes there, he's going to have half the amount of bolts he needs, and they're also going to be too short. So... What we need to do is, if, if I'll output the list and just show you. Um, so let me select the columns. I already have them in a group here. Select elements. We don't need to select the bolts. Now these ones are selected. But uh, we don't need to select them. What we can do is just select the columns. So. And. Select everything that's connected in the shop. Okay, and then we're going to go here and we'll go material list and we'll have a quick look at the material list and it should have eight two inch bolts on it. Now, this is because I modeled it in that way. So it's nobody's fault, only my own. So we can see eight two inch bolts. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go and we're going to turn the bolts around now it's better to do them two at a time because you're inverting them so some of these may already be inverted so it may not flip them around if this box is a square box sorry if this box has a, has a black square in it it means they're both different so it might only invert one of the bolts so we're going to come over here select these two uh, advanced properties and invert those because it's a correct mark and let's see if we can get these ones sorry I should have created a model view so what I'll do is I'll just go to 2d rather than orbit around it sorry I'm on my laptop here sometimes it's a bit slower so let's select these two And let's in, see the way some of them there was a tick box and some of them wasn't weren't so because of the way these were copied around some were inverted some were not inverted so just be sure you do that the right way so if I output the list now by selecting the columns and go to material list it should have no bolts on it because no bolts are associated with this column now and uh, we should just have the parts so we just have the parts and now what we want to do is we'll come down here double click on this we're going to probably have to upgrade it knowing that was the master joint so let's just click on the other one just to do it for so we're going to upgrade it or else we can't change it and then we're going to come down to bolt plates and bolt bolts and then we're going to invert these so they are now going to be associated with the column and then we're going to select the columns again select what's connected in the shop and then we're going to go to material lists okay and now it should have four at each column so 16 two and a quarter inch bolts so just be wary be careful to so you can see now we have the correct bolts so if we send this material list now it will have the right amount of bolts for the site okay hope that helps